All right, today I'm going to talk about Labamisol and deworming discus. So I purchased four of these discus from a pretty awesome seller. I'll be talking about him in a future video. Uh, I basically, I got four uh, heckle crosses, a royal, an Ica, blue turquoise, and a red turquoise. So I'm going to show you kind of how I went through the process of taking these fish in. So I truly believe on the domestics or the... Um, fish bred here locally in the United States to do the plop and drop. Now wilds I do a little different, but basically what I do is I pull these out, that's the royal, and I just get them in the water as soon as possible. Water temperature is about 85 degrees when I accept fish. Now I do float them obviously first. I'm going to talk about my package that I have for the Alabama Sol, so I've created a little bit of a package. So it makes it a little easier and there's a whole bunch of different reasons why I've done this and it's just basically from experience over the years. So the Labamisol is 99.9% .9 pure. Uh, it's the best I could find as far as uh, all the products on the market. And what I've done is instead of having to measure it with a scale, I've come up with these spoons. The ma I call it the macro spoon, that's the one you see here. That's a 15 gallon spoon. And I made it so you mix it in these jars. Um, I just find it a little easier to mix it before putting it in the tank. Uh, and it's fine to just put it in the tank, that's okay. But by doing this, it just gets a little bit better disbursement into the water. So the tank I'm gonna be treating is a 40 gallon breeder. So two of the macro, and then these are the micro spoons, and these do five gallon. So by two of the macro, obviously 30, and then two of the micro is 10, so that gets you get even 40. Now I'm evening off the tops. That is not necessary, but that gets you the 330 gallons of treatment in this, in this package. Um, you can do a little bit of a, a leveling with the shake. All right, so basically now what I do is I put some RO water in and I mix it up to the bottom of the label. This is for the Labamisol, and I'll show you a different route for the salt. Because with my Labamisol, I do treat with salt also. So quick shake, and then I'm just going to set this to the side and let it dwell a little bit and mix up by itself. Um, no need to really shake it a lot, just it'll actually dissolve in this water. So then I just put this away and then I come over and it's very important to clean the tank. So when I start the Labamisol, I do a 30% water change. And then we just add the water back. Now it's important to dechlorinate obviously. So this pump system is 20, 20 gallons per pump. And this is the Labamisol. So basically you want to kind of just squirt it into the water flow. And that just disperses it real even and the fish aren't going to get a chunk of the of the medicine so once it's full i come back and i start mixing the salt now the salt i made pretty easy now this is a special salt that i've created it's uh, high in trace minerals and one scoop treats 10 gallons now you can go into one to three one to four one to five you can do all that but i find for a therapeutic reason with the Labama Sol, the one to 10 gallons is perfect. Basically what it does is it dehydrates the parasite. Now with the salt, if you're gonna do 100 gallons, you'll probably have to do a couple uh, of these because that 40, the 40 gallon does kind of fill it up about a quarter of the way and it's, it's harder to shake. But if you let it sit to the side, just like the Labama Sol, it'll dissolve. So you put that in and you kind of want to get that, the same theory, you want to get that into the water flow. And this way, it kind of disperses really quick and there's really no stress on the fish anyways. And this is for the uh, deworming process. It just makes the, um, the medicine more effective in my opinion. And it does calm down the fish, it gives them, uh, it relaxes them. So now, first thing we want to do is turn out the lights. We do not want lights on with Labamisol. We want to make sure that we uh, basically get as dark as possible. Now it doesn't have to be dark, but we just don't want direct, direct lights on the tank. So if you have uh, lights, basically turn those off. And then what I do is I just put a towel over it. It tends to relax the fish through the process, 
but also uh, darkens the tank. Okay, we're 24 hours after, and now we're going to, very crucial, so you notice I use a small um, siphon because I wanna get very detailed cleaning. And I will use a siphon and uh, bring it down 50%. Now what that does is it brings the, uh, the intensity of the chemical down 50%. So they're still sitting in a little bit of medicine, so it is still treating. And it does not kill the parasite, it paralyzes it. Okay, this is a step that I think a lot of people miss. When you are deworming or metronidazole or anything of fish, basically what you're doing is you're eliminating their gut flora, their bacteria in their gut. In their gut. It's important to restart that with probiotics and prebiotics. So with the kit, you get the probiotic and prebiotic mix. And you see, I just have it on a toothpick. Uh, that's usually enough for to put in the blackworm. And you also get the blackworms with this process too. Now the key to it is the fulvic acid. Um, there's a lot of studies done on fulvic acid and basically what it is is the micro of the humic acid. So that's why fish are so healthy in the Amazon. Now this vitamin is a high grade vitamin. And basically what I do is I just try to fill that void up with as much vitamin as I can. So it's one one um, of the uh, prebiotic, probiotic, just on a toothpick, and then one drop of the fulvic acid, and then as many drops as you can fill, two to three drops usually of the vitamins. Now I just let that sit to the side and soak in. I want it to absorb. Now what I do is put it into the bell system. Uh, not necessarily, you can stick it to the glass, but what I find if you stick it to the glass is it kind of de uh, deteriorates really fast. So by sticking it in the bell, it does go to the bottom. So you can kind of see that it gives it that nice soft. But as you cram it in there, now you take your, your stick and you cram it through the top holes. And what this does is it sends the um, smell through the tank and that's gonna get these fish excited to hit it. Now you gotta remember these fish have only been in my room for one week and you'll see how they hit this pretty quick. Um, obviously I moved it up and even the little pleco comes out and he eats some of those black worms. And it's important because I want everybody in the tank to be dewormed and it's just a better process. So you see here, here are the four discus. Now they all are having the red right now. You can kind of see the blue on one, but uh, it's because of the foods I've been feeding. They eat three, two to three times a day. And you can see those worms really sticking out of that bell. And that's because of the vitamins. It really softens it up to get it to come through that bell. And that's the point with new fish because I really want them to get this vitamin in them, but also the prebiotic and the probiotic. I want that in their gut. Uh, it's gonna help them recover much faster, stay healthier, and all, all in all, it's just a better system as far as not just deworming the fish, but making sure the fish is healthy after the deworming process has happened. Now you're gonna to wanna to keep doing water changes for two or three days, good 50 percenters, because you're trying to make sure that anything that's escaped from the, uh, the stomach, as far as parasites, is getting sucked up. Now, it does not affect the eggs of the parasite. So very, very important in three weeks, we do this process again. It's very minimal stress on the fish. What I do notice is if a fish is impacted with parasites, they tend to do a little worse as far as recovery time. Sometimes they're mopey for one or two days after, but they usually uh, bounce back after that. But usually if they don't have the parasite, they're gonna be fine and they're gonna go right back into eating. And actually the whole time they're in that uh, medicine, they really, it doesn't really affect them. So it's a great way to see if your fish are um, loaded with parasites or not. And I've seen some pretty amazing stuff come out of these fish, uh, mostly the wilds. All right, guys, I just wanna say thank you and take a look at the website. It's uh, shellaraquatics.com. And I've actually created this package and I've discounted, discounted it for you guys on YouTube.